That would be me. Look who we're hanging with. Ryan O'Halloran. Jason David Frank. Humberto Ramos. Please do not change channel. Hello, World Wide Web. Welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't done it yet, we'll wait. Go hit subscribe. Come back over and over. No, we're waiting for you. Christian, so, make them subscribe. Just subscribe. Hit, hit the button. Where's the, okay, the button? Sit here. Right, there. See somewhere there. around there. Okay. Just hit that button. Uh, we're here at Sci Fi Bartow. I'm GW Pomacher. And I'm Christian Basil. And we're hanging out with Josh Bauer. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. Extraordinaire. There we go. That's right. Everything from stuff for the wall to stuff to ride on. He's got skateboards. Well, you shouldn't ride on those ones. Don't ride on them. Don't ride on those. Hang them up. Make them look good. You don't like it when you ride on the art. Yeah, they don't hold up so well. Not so much. Nah, nah. It's not sort of a skate park safe. It's more of uh, a different uh, way of, you know, you get bored with canvases so much. And, you know, they're always mostly square. So to do something else and try to change up the the, the flow it's a little the bit. The artistic mind. Yeah, I'm always it's, it's ADD. It's whatever it is. I always got to do something different. Do something different. So and you get a different feel because you know the lip goes up differently for the skateboards and you're kind of tight in but longer. So yeah, it's it's more of a just an alternative to you regular canvas. Have a 3D feel to your canvas too. A little bit, yeah. Make art the, the thing, yeah. Well, and you can get um, hooks to go onto your wall that kind of pop off the wall. Uh huh. And uh, it almost makes it look like your skateboard's floating on the wall. And it gives like even more of a 3D pop out effect. It's the funny. artist not only paints your board, but he tells you how to hang it to make it look even cooler on exactly. your wall. Exactly. He can't fix your couch. No. That couch has got to go. Yes. Yeah. But, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> no. Well, Josh, why skateboards though? Why, well, 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 what, why of all the objects you're going to pick, why a skateboard? I don't know. It's um, there's just you know my head's always turning, always trying to figure out new things. I think I got inspired by somebody else that was doing skateboards. Okay. Um, and I've seen them a couple of times here and there, and I've seen some surfboards done, but surfboards so are very big. So it's kind of through osmosis from something else. A you little were bit, doing yeah. Because I always hey, take I inspiration where I can and get ideas where I can. And uh, I was lucky enough, uh, a friend of mine, uh, Ryan from AJ Productions, his neighbor was having a garage sale, and had a stack of like ten. 15 of them. Oh, wow. And he bought the whole lot for me because he told me, I posted, I was looking for him. He bought the whole lot for me. So I still have two left of that group. Oh, okay. But yeah, that was, it, um, right. yeah, I've so, made all kinds uh, of Remind ones. us about your mediums. What, what do you, what do you, my main medium with? is uh, acrylic paint on canvas. Okay. I do, uh, this is my smallest size. I do these, I call the mini canvases. Mini they're, canvases. Yeah, okay. they're eight by tens. And then uh, the one behind us is one of the bigger ones. That's, uh, 24 by 36, uh -huh. and that's one of my bigger sizes. Uh, tell, uh, we were reminded off camera about Fairy Friday. Fairy Friday, tell, yes. Tell us about Fairy Friday. So this is another <laughs> one I was kind of... In, it's not what no, you I, think. I'm so, no, it's I, not I, what you I, think. Which, I'm that sorry, is not a problem brain, either. My, my that's not a problem either. There. That's a good thing for but Friday. It, yeah. Sorry. Yes. Uh, fairy Friday <laughs> is... Uh, I've actually grown my collection of uh, fairies to... Uh, I think I'm at a dozen or more now. I might be pushing 14. And uh, I make sure that's the day I share a uh, different fairy. Now, you, you've actually used some different cosplay models. That Correct. That really get some of yeah, these, you know, I've used new, games, um, new personalities. Who all have I worked with? Gothic Sushi, Harley's, or Joker's Harley from California. Uh -huh. okay. I've worked with a girl in the United Kingdom. Um, a couple of friends from Ohio that do the Ren Fair stuff. That's a great part of this community. Mm -hmm. You know, we get out, everybody shares their art, and yeah. it comes up with something new. Yeah, yeah, and I all I do is, you know, I because I'll see, I'll take a photo that they have. It could be an Instagram picture, an actual pose of picture, and it'll just click with me in my head that it's okay. This is something I need to paint, and I can turn it into a fairy. So I message them, hey, can I use it? I get the approval from the photographer, and then I create the fairy. From now, what drew you to fairies? There are so many different supernatural creatures. Right. What drew you in particular to fairies? So the number one thing was I was bored with comic art. I wanted something that was mine, that I owned, that, you know, couldn't come back and bite me in the butt later. You know, I wanted something <laughs> that is That's like, oh, well, is that you? Yeah, that is mine, 100% created by me. And the fairies are just fun because you can do different styles, different types, different colors. 
I mean, I have one series that I focus on just one color. So it's the color purple, and it's different purple all the way through. You know, different shades, okay. different styles. And then I have a black and white series where it's the pretty much the entire image is grayscale. Actually, this is one of the black and white ones. And then the main focus on this one is purple. There's okay, another yeah, one yeah. that's green. There's another one that's blue. Oh, wow. And then I'm also doing performer fairies. That's one of my performer newer ones. Performer fairies. Mm-hmm. So I've done... Um, I, where are you going with that? <laughs> Oh, you, you know, know where I'm going with it. I'm just... <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Broadway, it's, baby. It's Broadway. part of the Friday fairies. Yeah. Broadway. Uh, no, actually, it's uh, the first one I did was a Hooper fairy from, like, the EDM, oh, wow. the Electric Daisy yeah. Carnival. It's a friend up in Ohio. She's a professional Hooper. She does it as a, her side That's job. Cool. Yeah. And uh, she's actually spinning it, spinning the hoop as a fairy. And she's all, like, bright neon colors. Oh, I made her real wow. bright to look like the EDM part. So she. Right, now you also... Wait, we're at a... We're at a do you call this a convention? It's it's hard to call this a convention. This is like a, a convention fair? meets a street fair meets. Yeah. Well, they have panels and they, they have, have panels. They, they have, have the convention so, so. stuff. It's just we're just out. We're outside. It's yes. beautiful Florida day. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. And and it's there's it, it's fifty thousand of your closest friends on one street. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, I awesome. I walked because I had to put my stuff into the art show. Uh -huh. So it's two blocks down. It took me like 30 minutes because I keep running into people that I haven't seen since uh, I was at Tampa. My, uh, my yeah. last show was Tampa, so I've been just running into people. Hey, how are you? Where have you been? Blah, blah, blah. It's great to get caught up. Oh, yeah. Really yeah. It's a great community. The artist community is a fantastic community to be a part of. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we're always honored that we get invited at all. Yeah, yeah. I, and, I love you know. coming to Sci-Fi Bartow. It's, uh, it's one of the few shows I do in Florida right now. So I make sure Sean's like, you're coming. I'm like, now, of you course. You have a busy schedule ahead. Where are you going to be? Let's see. Uh, next weekend, uh, the 24th and 25th, I'm heading to Savannah Comic Con. My first time in Savannah, wow. Georgia. And then I take a little break to catch up on commissions, some other art pieces, get some stuff going. And then I'm going to Atlanta Comic Con. First time in Atlanta, and then Tampa Bay Comic Con at the now, later in the year. Wow! What art piece are you working on currently, right now? Right now, I'm always working on a thousand things at once. Uh, I have another fairy in the works. Uh, she's still in the drawn-up stage, but she's um, a hippie fairy. So okay. she's going to be more cool. of. I think she's going to be full color, but the focus is going to be yellow. So it'll be different tones okay. and brightnesses of yellow. And then I have some commissions that I'm doing. Uh, somebody wants a Doctor Strange. Another person wants a Batwoman, like in the middle of a fight, kind of oh, ready, wow. like, looking hardcore, like ready to throw nice. down. Yeah. She did, she's like, I don't want pretty. I want her fighting and yeah. ready to go. So I think yeah. I'm going to have her surrounded by like ninjas and stuff in the background. Okay. So you nice. can like see little sword marks or like little shiny oh, wow. things. But That's the main fantastic. focus will be her. And then uh, just the, the mini canvases. Those have been going crazy on Instagram. Hey, th 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 this is an anime character? Yeah, this is uh, Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Uh, or uh, Dragon Ball Super, actually. Do you do a lot of anime? Do you do you, do you know I do a lot of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, okay. I'm not, I haven't followed uh, anime that much. My wife's into it a little bit more uh -huh. than I am. I find it easier when it's stuff I know I can paint better. But, so. it's, but it's also easier when the wife is really happy while you're painting. Yeah. Well, when I'm not bothering her, she's always happy. So. Always happy. Yeah. So nice. if she says, hey, do that Dragon Ball Z character, you're like, yes, ma'am. Yeah. I'm yeah, honest. Yeah. Right? Yeah. She uh, she always yells at me. She goes, when when do I get my next painting? I'm like, um, uh, uh, is there a holiday coming up? <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day just passed, dude. You yeah. missed it. I, I, I got her flowers, so, yeah. What do we, you think? YouTube? What do you think? <laughs> Did you do okay? We've, we've made a rule. We don't do Valentine's Day. It's, uh, you know, it's one of those things, it's like, it's not our thing. We've been together for 14 years now. Oh, wow. Dude. Yeah, That's we... A, with, with a 14-year relationship, Valentine's yeah. Day is like every Tuesday. Yeah, like, exactly. You have, I mean, so Valentine's Day doesn't really count. It's it like is one of the Tuesday, few times right? that I get her flowers, though. So, and I got her really cool ones. They were like roses that were done, had a purple tint to them and some... Um, the art never stops. No. It doesn't no. stop, <laughs> even when he's, buy, he's shopping. Yeah, exactly. He's looking for that perfect... Oh, you know, it's this thing goes. Uh, you know, I, I can, I'm sleeping and I wake up and come up with an idea. It's it's nonstop. So. We've been watching your Instagram. Bro. Yes, yeah. yes. How's that going, man? How's that, it's that, been going that, really that well. Been a good medium for you. It's the best media? so far. Yeah. It really is. Um, yeah. Uh, so I was in school for most of the part last year, yep. so I wasn't able to do much. Uh, when 2018 started, I went full force on everything, especially with the mini camps. Having two shows come up, I need to build up the process. So I knocked out almost 60 mini canvases in four weeks. Now in the, in the digital arena, when you're posting work, yes. one of the biggest problems that we've noticed artists have yes. is 
and people screenshotting your mm -hmm. art. Uh, how do you how do you protect against that? Do you encourage people to you know have some license to you know if you if you, if you want a big wall paint if you come and see it? You know? Yeah. Well, how do you do with that? Um, I haven't run in at the moment. I haven't run into too many problems with people taking my work. I don't know if that's a reflection of my work or. Oh, oh no! I have a whole. I have a whole. I have a whole folder of your work. Oh, so I'm okay. Just so you're just waiting. I'm just waiting to find out. Yeah. Are you getting sued or what? Uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, I'd have to invade and afford a lawyer. I knew there was something behind this question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's always motivation somewhere, right? As soon right? as I get to green light, it's done. No, uh, <laughs> something like so far, I haven't run into too much problems, and most of the people that either share my work or do stuff like that are very cool. They, they tag they me, give me they, credit. they give me yeah. credit. And then when it comes to, like, because the main one you have to watch, that's why, like, when I take a picture, everything's crooked. Oh, nice. that's my one way to kind of try to combat it a little bit. I make sure it's not the best resolution when it comes to the canvases. If it's my prints, because you've seen the digital versions yeah, of my prints version, with my, yeah. my logos in it, so you can't take it out. Yeah. Uh, also, I make sure that it's not that high quality of a picture hey, as hey well. Guys, online, remember, art is, is a profession. It's, yes. a, it's a passion. It's something we do because we love it, but it's also a profession. Mm -hmm. So, you know, be kind. Don't steal stuff that you could buy. Correct. You, if you want a license for Josh's work, his email is there. Yes. You know, yes. he's more than one work here. She's going to hold that damn card up. Yeah. I could see her. She went really in slow motion. <laughs> she did that. She knows I get irritated when she does that. we got to wrap it up. As we wrap it up, uh, we want to say thank you to our partners and our friends. It's Something Unique Magazine, Famous Faces and the Funnies, Krypton Radio, Off the Chain with author Yvonne Mason, Space Coast Comics, Asylum Convention Entertainment Services, and our great friends here at Sci-Fi Bartow. Um, we're, we're excited. We're excited. This is our first interview of the day. We're hanging out Woo! with a good friend Josh Bauer, showing off some of his artwork. Oh, yeah. Guys, we're going to put all of his links down below so you can find him. Uh, guys, remember, subscribe to the channel, please. Log on. Do it. Tune in. <laughs> See who we're hanging with next. Exactly.